Yo, what's up, guys? Lupi the Beast here, back with another video, back with another Manchester United career mode. Um, we're in the one game away from Onana, Hoyland, and Ambrat joining. And yeah, again, Mount still on that wing, but we're gonna play Iglesias and Abio since it's their final games on the club, as well as Emmy Martinez. So, yeah. They're going to play for the first half for their final game in Manchester in a United kit. Iglesias, what a pass to Rashford. Rashford, you got to give Iglesias that on his final game as a United player, as he's going to Atalanta. Rashford, nope. Varan, Mount, Mount, Licha. I'm so happy. I mean, De Jong, Iglesias, Iglesias, nice pass to Mount, Mount crosses it in, no, but Iglesias is there, he gets it, Iglesias to Bruno, Bruno to Marquez! MBE, Marcus Rashford with the first Goal of the match, and that's a good team build up play. Marcus Rashford MBE with the first goal of the match. Oh, Emmy gets that. I mean, to De Jong, De Jong, Iglesias, Iglesias, clear he has to score here. Iglesias, 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 Iglesias. Open net. Open net. Oh. Open net. Oh. Bruno. Rashford. And two Iglesias. Marcus. Marcus! M. B. E. Marcus. Marcus, Marcus Rashford! What a save by Emmy Martinez, even though I barely saw it. Save by em Bro, Emmy is popping off in this final game. Emmy, no, he's not. Give up an open net on your final. Is he sabotaging? Iglesias. Iglesias! No! But they young! De Jong with the open net. He was stuck inside the net for a little bit. And De Jong is just running around. Iglesias has had so many goals stolen from him. But, hey. I mean, he did score a hat-trick in one of those last episodes. I think that was probably his last goal. Rabio has been unheard of. And there it is. Emmy Martinez with his last save of the game right there. And, yeah. So, Iglesias Kane is going to come in. Casemiro is going to come in. Emmy Martinez will stay, though, because he's our goalkeeper. But that's his last first half. Emmy Martinez just played his last first half with the team at Bruno! Four, one. We came to St. James's Park for one reason, to shatter them. Bruno Fernandes. Isaac to Koke. Koke, what a save by Emmy. 70th minute, that could be his last save. Probably not though. Mount running down the ring. Mason! Number seven! And they scored one extra one, but yeah, that save that miss that um Emmy made before that was the last save we saw him make as a United keeper. So respect. And for this game, the new additions are here. Hoyland is here, Ambrat is here, and Onana is here. And Chelsea want Mason Mount. <laughs> Have a laugh. Um, 
Murich will come in. Oh, now I will make his debut next game. But um, Chelsea really wanted Mount back. You're having a laugh. Come on. FIFA 2014 ball. Oh, I don't ask why. So I find Ik Zidane Iqbal. I think he left in real life. To Hoyland. 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 Debut Hoyland scores! Ramos Hoyland. I saw that one video of him telling people how to pronounce his name. I forgot how to pronounce it. Hoyland. It was like a hard D. Pause. Done. Hoyland. Hoy. It doesn't matter. Hoyland. Hoyland. Hoyland with the double. Ramos. Hoyland. Hugging his new teammate. So he fun. I'm Brad. I'm at Diallo. I'm at Diallo. I'm at to so I am breaking the sound barrier. 4 1 and out Brad scores on his debut. We just have a bunch of players playing in their debut scoring. I shouldn't have screamed Hoyland that loud. That's crazy. Ooh, we drew Club Rouge in the round of 16. That's going to be an easy matchup for us. Hopefully, Mount Cassie. Cassie to Marcus. Marcus, no, but Harry! Harry Kane loves playing for United, and that's the only goal of the match. We win 1-0. Um, I don't know if you've peeped that game in the background. It's United versus Newcastle. The game where we beat them, and but yeah. Now, you might be asking me, hold on. Why are you signing Messi? And I know the thing said Messi's on loan, but look, I know we're signing him, 110 wages, but look, here's what's going to happen as we win 2 0. Juan Bisaka and Rashford. Um, Messi will only be here until Neymar's injury is healed. And there he is, it's officially announced. Messi will be joining Manchester United here a week ago. It's going to be pretty much like a loan from Inter-Miami because when I recorded this, he hadn't actually joined Miami. So he's been sitting in free agency. Weird. But we're going to sign up for like a few. And when Neymar is back, when Neymar is officially back, they won't even get to play a game together. We'll send him back to Inter-Miami. He's not wearing 16. Um, but he's not wearing 10 because Rashford has that. So he's going to wear 30 um, for the team like he did in his PSG days. And Frankie Dion will have to change his number. My bad. And Garna is out on loan too. But yeah, he'll only be here. And then we'll swap him for a random player on Miami. When, like uh, a random youth player. Like I said, he's not wearing 30. I mean, he, I mean he's not wearing 16. However, De Jong, let's just give him 16, right? Yeah. But, um, so, the second, as soon as Neymar, we get that notification, player back from injury, and we know it's Neymar, then Neymar will be back. And Messi will be gone to Miami. And if Neymar comes back, like, during the middle of the season, you might be like, well, Messi's still going to be on the team because, you know, the transfer window. We'll just not play him. He'll sit on the bench. It'll be like he's pretty much not on the team anymore. But, yeah, so that's how we're going to do it. I know it's not a, a, a realistic thing, but it's just as, you know, a wait until he's healed from injury. And we're in a game against Tottenham! Mal, maybe we should keep him on that left wing. Mason Mount. That's the only goal in a highlight game against Spurs. But yeah, um, that's how we're going to do it. I mean, maybe we could give them one game together. No, I don't think so. So he's going to be here on loan. And then we're going to send him to Miami. 
as soon as Neymar is back from his injury. So that could take a while. And I did the research and Neymar's sister's birthday is in March. Right, was it March? Yeah, it was like March. And I think his injury is gonna last till March. So maybe he was skipping his sister's birthday a little early. But yeah, um, we're gonna fully rotate. Hannibal Center, what are you doing? What, what would that change? Anyways, I'm actually excited for Messi to join. Ahmad and Mount Zaha missed the penalty and then immediately got subbed off four minutes later. But yeah, Messi's only here for a short term. Don't worry, guys. We skipped deadline day. We weren't going to do anything. We're only second place. So technically, we could. This series could be over before season three if we won the Premier League and the FA Cup. This season, I think we should go for the Premier League and FA Cup and end the series. Boom. No more thoughts. No more. And then we could start our next FIFA 23 series, which will be the last FIFA 23 series of the year. So, yeah. One point off of um, Man City. But we're going to play the first leg, first game. Messi back in the UCL. And ironically, oh, Ronaldo just scored. Ironically, the game that I'm playing, which is the Newcastle, so the game against Newcastle is the game where Ronaldo returned. And so that's playing. So Ronaldo's on the screen while Messi's playing for United. But he will be going back to Miami as soon as Neymar's back from his injury. And if Neymar does not come back in time for Messi, to go back to enter pretty much if he if he comes back before the season ends pretty much which i th reckon he will probably is that frankie de jong mm, it's frankie de jong but yeah i reckon um neymar probably will be back by then so the thing that's just going to happen is um he's just going to be on the he's just going to be sitting in the reserves um, he's going to be in Miami, but he won't be registered to play, pretty much. I mean, that's how it works, though, because I don't think... No, the season's definitely going on during... It. So, yeah, as soon as the transfer window opens up, he'll be gone. But speaking of Messi, our loanee, the loan, before he goes back to Miami, Messi! I think maybe we should send him to Miami in the next episode, because Neymar probably... Yeah. So we'll just do that so Messi will be gone. Just to make it official that Messi will be gone and I don't forget. Because I always record. As soon as I finish recording these, I record the next episode pretty much immediately. So yeah, so I don't forget Bruno! As I was saying... Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful goal. Bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro. Anyways, it's like I was saying, Lang. No, I was not saying Lang. Like I was saying, next episode, we will send Messi to Miami for a random guy on the team. We're going to make sure it's not one of their best players. And yeah. So, Messi will not be a United for life. He will be going back to Miami. He's just here on loan. Kane went for the bicycle kick, but we get a penalty off of it. I'm not going to scream if um, whoever is taking the penalty scores it because it's not that impressive. It's a penalty. I know I've been breaking the sound barrier all episode after someone scores. We're not going to do it again. Don't worry. Harry Kane makes it 2 now. Come on. I want to scream, but it's just a penalty. 2 nil. Manchester United away from home. Um, 
Fabricio just reported about the Zion guy from the guy that they're trying to make their backup goalkeeper. He prefers another team. Don't really care. Um, we have Mirich, who was actually linked in real life. Casemiro, Kane, Harry, Messi pushed down pretty much. That's what it seems like. Um, Maybe Messi's not cut. Oh, yeah, I just realized this means Messi will play in the Premier League. Something he's been knocked for not doing is playing in the Premier League and never winning the Premier League. And he could help us win the Premier League. Um, Hoylan and Kim and Jay subbed in and Messi, Messi, Messi! Lionel Messi. Magical. Mm, magical. Zaha's going to come in. And just magical. Bruno to Rashford! Ooh. Spectacular. Emmy! I meant Licha. Hoyland! Down in the box. Um, I'm going to break the sound barrier. We're gonna give it to Hoyman because he won the penalty. And Hoyland! 4 0. His fourth goal for United. Ramos Hoyland scores again. And will I even play the second leg? No, I won't. Because after the second leg, we have like a game against City and. Liverpool, which I would way prefer to play. So next episode will be a treble header without a UCL game. And Renata's just going to hold it out and we win. We win, boys. Tenog shaking it with whoever that is. You just got clapped, my guy. Um, Mingole, the former... Yeah, um, Liverpool keeper. We got to see this burn go one more time, though. Like, how? That's a crazy goal. But, yeah, um, we're going to end the episode there. It's been your boy. Actually, let's look at these stats. We're going to see how long Frankie De Jong is out. Two days. All right, we're good. He won't play against Arsenal, but he'll be back. Um, Yeah, but we're going to end the episode there. Neymar, three months left. It's been your boy, Lil P, the Beast, and I'm out. Peace!